What's up YouTube? This is Joe from Zephyr War Games and I'm bringing to you guys a Elemental Hero Masked Hero deck profile. So this is competitively focused um, with exclusion of hand traps and that's something though that you guys can sort out um, if you have them. But I wanted to make this as budget as I can as well. So I had to take out the hand traps but this is a uh, as I said, a competitive um, focused build using the new Elemental Hero Solid Man. So, also I finally in a house that I budget and I'm showing you all alone. So, but um, the extra deck is like, you know, as always up to you. But uh, I just threw in what I have as well. So, well that's and done guys, let's get into it. So, we have three copies of Elemental Hero Solid Man. I only bought two... I bought only two of the Jaden Sin, so I've only got two copies at the moment. But um, you have you play free Solid Man. He is the new Goblinberg of the um, Master Hero deck. Um, on normal summon, I think it's normal, just normal summon. Yeah, when this card's normal summon, you can press summon one level four low hero monster from your hand. If this card is sent from the monster zone to the graveyard by a spell effect, you can target one hero monster in the graveyard except Solid Man. Special summon it in defense mode. You can use this effect of Solid Man once per turn. So. As I said, he is the Goblin Man of the deck. He summons the heroes from your hand to get their effects off and go into your Link plays or XC's plays if you play those as well in the extra deck. So, the one that we're going to be summoning off is our three copies of Elemental Hero Shadow Mist. On special summons, she searches a mass change card from the deck to the hand, which is obviously going to be mass change. And then when it's sent from the field to graveyard or just sent to the graveyard, you can add one hero monster from your deck to your hand. You can use each. You can use one of the effects per turn and once per turn. So obviously you're going to summon this off your solid man and get yourself a mass change then you can go into a link play and then do all that kind of nonsense and then hopefully you'll have a monster back to, to the field for your mass change that you searched. I do play one extra hero target and that is one vision hero Vylon because on summon he sends a hero from monster from your deck to graveyard so you can send shadow mist and then get a search if you wanted to. And so it's just another nice target to summon off your solid man. Now you don't have to play this card. This can be one of the cards you take out for your um, your hand traps. I am taking in for the combo plays um, three hero kids. So when this card is special summon, you can special summon as many hero kids from your deck. Simple as that. So you can summon this of your mostly will be summoning this of your. Um, is all day to start going to some very high link plays, but you can also summon this off your solid man and get some extra copies onto the field, and it's just an instant link four. So that's the monsters. Moving on to the spells, three copies of a hero lives. I literally cannot find my hero lives for the life of me, so I had to proxy them for this profile. But yes, you play three copies of a hero lives just to turbo out into your solid man or your shadow mist. Completely up to you. Unfortunately, it does cost half your life points, so if you're going turn 1, which this deck likes to go um, first, you'll be paying 4,000 life points for this summon. But um, if you can control the game from there, it's worth it. Two copies of Mars Change. Now, you may think this is crazy, but we have many ways to special summon Shadow Mist to the point where we shouldn't have to play more, or more um, we shouldn't have to play three copies of Mars Change. We can literally just play three, two copies turbo it out and get our Dark Law onto the field and hopefully win the game from there. I am also playing three copies of E Emergency Call and one Rotor just to turbo out into our Solid Man or Shadow Mist. I am also playing three copies of Call by the Grave because hand traps hurt this deck. We don't want to be hand trapped on our Resolde. I am playing two Revival cards and Soul Charge and Monster Reborn. You could probably take the Soul Charge out if you feel like it but being able to revive all your link monsters again is very good. I am playing one copy of Forge Burial as well, again to dump the Shadow Mist. Three equipped spells in the forms of Living Fossil, Moon Mirror Shield, and the Divine Sword Phoenix Blade. Phoenix Blade is obvious. Moon Mirror Shield is a, another option for the deck because you can either send it off the Azolde for the Hero Kid Summon, or you can, if you have it in your hand, you can equip it to your Dark Lore and make your Dark Lore near indestructible by battle. And I got the Living Fossil because it's another Equip Spell in the deck that's also useful because you can also play it and revive your uh, hero monsters 
for those uh, mass chain plays and link plays. And to round up the deck, I'm playing three um, spell cards in that, in, um, to be exact. Three copies of Scapegoat. You can also take these out for any hand traps that you want. But I like Scapegoat in this deck just purely on the basis that ooh, it gives the deck more link plays and also protection plays. Um, if you bricked turn one, unfortunately that does happen. But you open Scapegoat, you can set Scapegoat and hopefully live on the next turn and then just take back the game from there. Moving on the traps, as you saw as I dropped one, um, three copies of Back to the Front. This is to revive your Shadow Mists and your heroes for your Mars Change after your combo is finished, so you can Mars Change them on your opponent's turn. Uh, the two strikes and one warning. I'm not playing judgment in this step because with the hero lives as well You have a lot of life point cost cards and I don't want to be reducing our life points too much But these cards are very very important for a deck like this. That's also all control based This literally just stops your opponent from doing anything And then three copies of compulsory evacuation devices back to three and why not put it in a stun deck like this one Being able to bounce your opponent's cards and combo it off with dark lore is very important is a uh, very 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 useful so that's the main deck guys let's move on to the extra deck just pick up all the guards i swear i need to find a way to do this more neatly now the extra deck is just literally all links except for these two which is two copies of dark law you could probably put an anki in here as well if you wanted to just for to help with those otks or um, big play, big damage pushes, but all ideally you just need two Dark Lords um, just so that you can start banishing your opponent's cards. Now the rest of the decks is literally just Link Monsters. Um, there's two spaces open in this deck so you could probably put two Rank 4s in here um, and if you could probably take one of these um, Link 4s out as well for a um, like the finish off a Utopia package or something like that. So just literally all the link fours that we can summon off our hero gives and scapegoats. Bowl Lord, Bowl Sword, Topologic Bummer, uh, Trisbania, no, Gumbler, which is a very nice hand loop with Gumbler and uh, Dark Claw in this deck. And then Firewall, which you can use for like your Ash Blossoms and stuff, um, Ghost Reapers and stuff like that. Then you've got two Link Threes in forms of Trigate and Nightmare uh, Unicorn. You could probably put Deco Talker in here as well. Uh, Link 2s is like literally the Goblins, Cerberus, the Phoenix, and the obvious is Old A. And then two Link 1s for our scapegoats in the forms of Link Rebo and Link Spider. And that, guys, is the deck. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, so if you, do, if you did enjoy this deck and you're planning to build it yourself, bear in mind that we are getting the Legendary Hero decks at some point, which will give us some Hero Link monsters as well to use in this deck um, so that we can hopefully make this deck that much more consistent with our mass change and even possible fusion plays so stay tuned to the channel for that there will be an update on that profile on on this deck when that comes also stay tuned to the channel because i will be working on a more competitively focused uh, neospatian deck that uses things like solid man and shadow mist to just give the deck that more uh, consistent plays and even focus more on the new nebula neos as well thanks to dark panther for being a dark target we can use things like marshing to help us go into that kind of stuff so uh, again stay tuned to the channel for that when it comes and until next time guys as always happy dueling also youtube thanks for watching that video i hope you liked it if you did hit that like button and of course don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button in the bottom left hand corner and the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything we've got more deck profiles duels pack openings and many more Yu-Gi-Oh videos coming up for you all year round so don't forget to stay tuned for all of that thanks and as always guys happy dueling